All right, welcome back. Uh, we haven't been releasing videos as of late because of some personal issues, but we're back and we are better than ever. We're starting this tutorial with a rendering tutorial in Photoshop, and uh, we're just going to go through the different methods of rendering and how to do them and the pros and cons of each method. The first method I want to go over is the marquee tool. The marquee tool is this little shape right here under the move tool and all it is is just a selection mask and you can choose different shapes uh, basically all it is is just a mask so to make a perfect circle for rendering circles or whatever a perfect square perfect circle or whatever you just hit shift select that and then you just hit shift and drag and try to select whatever you're trying to select. It's kind of troublesome and uh, trial and error type of thing, but once you get it done, it's pretty rewarding because you don't really have to go through the pen tool and getting all that stuff done, although it is pretty quick if you know how to do it. But this is a crude method. It's good for a quick selection, but it's not very precise. It's very limited and it's very difficult to get the results that you want but let's try and uh, get this sphere here alright I think that's the best I'm gonna do so um... to get this this selection right here and render it all you do is hit control C that'll copy it you go to file new it'll open a new uh, a new project like this and all you do is just copy it and paste it and then you delete the background and there you have it a rendered golf ball not very good render but you know you pick and choose pick and choose for this purpose of this tutorial this is fine the next method I wanted to go over was the magnetic lasso for this we're gonna use the Rocky Mountains okay the magnetic lasso is right under the uh, marquee tool you just click and hold and it'll show up as the magnetic lasso right here down at the bottom or wherever you have it and then you can click and what it does is it reads the pixels of the color that it separates the colors basically and you just go along the edges of whatever you want to render and you can click for sharp corners and things like that you just go along it until you have it completely rent until you have it completely uh, covered and then you can come down I'm getting a little off there but you know it's fine and there now the uh, the pros for this is it's a bit more precise than the marquee tool but it can be difficult to get the results that you need because of this right here it doesn't let you go outside of the picture and you can't really do anything about this right here uh... little jagged edges that you don't want and uh... things like that so it's just kind of finicky now to do to uh... get to render this out you just do the same thing, control copy, just copy, new, and then control V, and then delete the background. There you go, rendered Rocky Mountains. Perfectly fine. Of course, you could also add a feather, it'll make it a slightly, slight, look slightly better, but you'd have to start a new mask. And yeah, about that. Now the quick selection tool is the next tool that we're going to go over. And uh, it's right here, right under the magnetic lasso tool. You can click and hold. It's quick selection, usually the first one there. And it's good for, um, great for quick selections, but it's not as precise as you probably want to be when rendering something. Uh, it just selects quickly rough shapes not really any good for anything else 
But uh, to get rid of this stuff, you just, you know, control X. It'll get rid of this stuff. That control X is just cut. It's a shortcut for cut. You just get rid of all this green stuff. And you can come in here with the eraser tool and erase this little stuff if you want. And uh, be a little bit more precise. Uh, but you know it's a crude it's a crude method. Uh, I don't really recommend it, but it works. The next method is the background eraser tool. It's a little it's slightly better than the quick selection and the magic wand, and it is pretty good to it's pretty good for uh, solid colors. You just click and it'll erase the color. Just like that. You can even limit it to finding edges. It'll delete the edges for you. Now this tolerance right here is for um, basically how tolerant it is at finding the colors to delete and get rid of. 100% I don't really recommend it because you might end up deleting something off of this guy and that's not really good. You don't really want that. And uh, it's most likely when you do this it's like a trial and error thing just like the marquee tool. You just have to try it, try it, and try it until you get the results that you want. But it is great for rendering green screen because it's all one color and usually when you're with a good green screen all the color is usually the same. The next tool is the tool that I recommend and uh, it's the tool that I typically use which is the pen tool. Zoom out here, show you what we're going to render. All right. With the pen tool you can get right down to the nitty gritty and get find all these edges and everything. So we're going to select the pen tool, it's right here, right below the hand. You can select it with the P key. And then you just zoom in with control alt mouse wheel or you can just come down here to the percentages and type in whatever you want. And then you just start wherever you feel like you need to start. I'm going to start down here. Right down here. All right, so let's start here. Now there's a lot of methods with the pen tool. You can click each individual time, or you can click ahead of a curve, and you can add points in the middle, and then hit Control and physically drag it to fit the curve. It's faster that way, and it saves time. So. Uh, you don't have to click a billion times like this. It just saves time this way. And it's more precise. You can fit it better. Just add a little slight curves and slight adjustments. And you can delete points by clicking them in the middle. Like if you want to delete a point that's in the middle, you just click it. And it'll delete it. So we're going to go through here. Crap. Try to scroll over. All right. Once you got that done, you're going to right click inside the mask. You're going to click make selection. You're going to feather it by 0.5 pixels. What this does is it gets rid of all the rough edges and sharpness that you see. If you want that, then go ahead and leave it at 0 pixels, but uh I like it with like this. It's uh looks looks a little better in my opinion. It's 
it's what uh, a lot of people do, and uh, I, I like it. So there, we got that done. Now what you do is you copy it, Control C, open a new project, and copy it in. And then delete the background layer, and you've got it rendered. Now to get rid of these little points, you just zoom in again. And get rid of them by making another mask selection. Simple stuff, simple stuff. Not really going to worry about it right now because strap for time a little bit. But you know, you get the idea. So that is, in a nutshell, how to render.